Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss some problems in uh, Turing machine. So first, this is a problem like constructed Turing machine that accepts all the input in the following format. So the problem here is it should have number of A's. So at least one A should be there followed by number of B's. Okay, so it is A followed by B. And at least one A, one B should be there. So your criteria is first element should be an A. At least one A should be there. And that is followed by any number of A's. That is A star. Okay, followed by B at least one B followed by B star. Okay, so the set of elements that is accepted by this language is at least one A, one B. Or if you have two A, one B or anything. Okay, so you have the combination of A and B. So A should be followed by B and at least one A should be there, one B should be there. Okay, so for this, we have to construct a Turing machine and we have to draw the transition diagram for it. Write the instantaneous description and the transition function. Also give the pupil notation for the Turing machine. Okay, so uh, we'll see how to construct a transition diagram first. So this is your tape. Okay, so Turing machine works like Whatever is the input that is written in the tape from left to right and the remaining symbols will be blank. So at least one A should be there followed by N number of A's. One B should be there followed by N number of B's and you'll be having this blank symbol. Okay, since we have the B in your input, I'm just going to take this as a blank representation. And your uh, first element, your read right head focus on the first element in the starting state. So this, you have to have it as the scenario for any situation, any uh, Turing machine startup. Okay, so whenever a Turing machine starts, this is how it is going to happen. The input is written from the tape from left to right and the read head focus on the first cell and the transition is in starting state. Okay, so this is the transition function like for the transition diagram. I'm just going to have this Q naught. And what is the criteria that is needed? Uh, it should have number of A's. At least one A should be there in Q0. So the first element that we are going to read over here is an A. It has to be an A. Okay. If it is A, we are going to the state Q1. Okay. If the first element is A, it is fine in the proper format. We are going to move right in Q1 state. Okay. So now the next step is this A will be followed by any number of A's. But that doesn't matter, right? At least one A should be there. So for any number of A's, I can make a transition here. For any number of A's, I'm going to stay in this Q1 itself. And whenever you have a B in Q1, then all A's followed by all B's. Okay, so when you have a B in Q1, we can go to this Q2 state. At least one B should be there followed by any number of B's. Okay, so it is going to scan the input. First, one A should be there. It reaches Q1 state for all the remaining A's will be reaching in the Q1 state itself. And once we reach B, we are going to this Q2 state. Okay, in Q2 for all the remaining B's will stay in Q2 itself until it reach the blank symbol. So coming to the end of your input, we have already scanned one A, one B, and it is in the sequential format, right? C, A, A star, B, B star format. So once we reach the final blank symbol, the end of your input, we can accept the input. Okay, we can go to an accepting state, Q accept state for acceptance. Okay, so this is a partial transition diagram. See, it actually de defines everything. It is like your NFA diagram, right? So when the input is A, we are going to Q1 state. For all the remaining A's, we stay in Q1. When the input is A is followed by B, you are going to Q2 state. When all the remaining inputs are B, we stay in Q2 itself. Finally, at the end of your input, we are reaching your accepting state. Okay, so this is the exact scenario which doesn't need any external memory unit at all. Okay, so the language that is taken is a regular language, but still we can construct a Turing machine for it. But the transition isn't completed, right? When it is in Turing machine, we should exactly, each step of transition, it has to read one input and make one step move. Right. So what we have done, we have scanned this A and we left this A as it is and we made a right side move. Q0, when it read a A, it goes to the next step, a one right side move. And for all the remaining A's, we keep on moving right side. And one B is scanned, the B will remain as it is, we are making a right side move. And for all the remaining B's also, we are going to move one, one step right, right, right until we reach a blank symbol. And once we reach a blank symbol, we are going for the acceptance states. We can either move left or right. It doesn't matter. 
Okay, so this is a perfect acceptance criteria. When your input follows this A, A star, B, B star structure, your input will be accepted by this Turing machine. But in case of your Turing machine, we have a rejection state. We can define a rejection state. When, you, when the input exactly need to be rejected, we can trace the input over here. So Q0, it exactly has to start with A. In case if it is starting with B, we have to reject it. Okay, so this is one transition or else at least one A, one B should be there. If you are giving epsilon as an input, nil element as an input, that also has to be rejected. So when the starting symbol itself blank, it is also rejection. And in Q1 is a place where we already scanned one A and when there is a B, we have a transition to Q2. But when there is a blank symbol, like in your input, you just have A alone without B, and we reach this blank symbol, then that has to be rejected. So blank, blank, rejected. And Q2 is a place where it exactly need all Bs. Already we have scanned one A, all the remaining A, scanned one B, all the remaining Bs will be scanned. So in case if there is an A here as a extra element, that has to be rejected. And once we reach as acceptance state, it is done. Okay, so uh, when you are constructing a Turing machine, you have to make sure that you understand this concept. Like uh, when it is in uh, a push, a final automata or a push automata, the input has to be scanned from the starting element to the end. Okay, so after processing all the input symbol, we are going to verify whether the transition is in final state or the stack is empty for defining the acceptance. But Turing machine is a place like whenever the input Whenever the transition moves to accepting state, the input will be accepted. And whenever the transition enters into the rejection state, the input will be rejected. Okay, so this is how it actually works. Now the transition diagram is complete. The first step is done. Okay, so this is a transition diagram. And what is an instantaneous description? Instantaneous description is uh, like when you take an instant, when you take an example, and how does the Turing machine process each step and the explanation, like uh, the way of representing that is called an instantaneous description. Instantaneous, instantaneous in the sense, like at the instant, how does your transition looks like? Okay, so I usually do this tape diagram for my understandability. Okay, so I'll just take one example. The starting step is when the input is just A, B alone and remaining symbols are blank, the read rate head focuses on the first element and to the first element is A. I'll just take A, B, B, two Bs. And all the remaining elements will be B. Okay, so Q note when it scan an A. So this is an instant. Okay, uh, Q note when it scan an A, what it does? A will remain as it is and it makes a transition to Q1 by making a right side move. So the next step transition will look like this. Blank, blank. For the next step, you are making a transition. Q0, when it reads an A, it goes to Q1 state and make a right side move. Now Q1, when it reads a B, it goes to Q2 state. A, B, 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 sorry, blank. And all the remaining symbols. Are, uh, Q1, when it reads a uh, B symbol, it goes to Q2 state by making a right side move. Okay, so what happened in Q2 state? Q2, we have a self loop for B. For all the remaining Bs in this place, we'll be keep on scanning and we make a transition for right side move. Q2. Now Q2, when it is a blank symbol, we make a left side move. So it is up to you here. You can either make it as a left side or right side move. So in this consideration, I have made it as a uh, left side move. All the inputs will remain as it is. A, B, B, blank, blank will remain as it is. We are making an left side move to Q accept state. Okay, so this is the tape structure. Once the Turing machine enter into your acceptance state, the input will be accepted. Okay, we are not, we aren't bothered about whether uh, we are reaching it prior to it or not and all. Okay, so now uh, look at this here. So this is your tape structure. And for this, when you want to write your instantaneous description, uh, instantaneous description is like nothing, but it is like a snapshot of a thing at a time in a single line. Okay, so here, whatever is there in the tape will be written as it is, but you have a read write head here, right? So wherever you have a read write head, on the prefix of it, you have to add this state. 
So now the input in the tape is A, B, B, all blank. Now this read and hit focus on the first element. So before this first element, you have to add it as Q0. Okay, so this is the first step instant. And from this step on, the next step is this one. So you have to write the ID description for it. Okay, so this is called move of it during machine. A single step from this, what will be the next step? So that is called move on a uh, Turing machine. So in this step, when you are scanning the input, the tape consists of A, B, B, blank symbol, and your read, write, hit focus on this place. So whenever it is focusing on this place, to the prefix of it, like before this place, you have to add the state Q1. So the instant will be A, Q1, B, B, blank, blank. So Q1 will be added here. So from this, the next instant is this one. So your tape consists of A, B, and you have a read, write, hit. Wherever you have a read, write, hit, add the state. So it is A, B, Q2, B. Okay, it is A, B, Q2, B, blank, blank. And the next instant is here. It is A, B, B. And here you have a read, write, hit. Add your state here. It is A, B, B, Q2, blank, blank. And the last step is you have A, B, B. And you have a read, write, hit here. Here in this place, you have a read, write, hit. So add your state here. That is A, B, Q, except B, blank, blank. Okay. So this is called an instantaneous description. So each step is represented using, this is a single move of a Turing machine. And uh, universally, if you want to accept from starting from this instantaneous description, we are able to receive this A, B, Q, except blank B, B on multiple step. Okay, so when it is whole star, what is the meaning of clean closure? Zero or more step. Okay, so on zero or more more, we are able to start from this place and move to the accepting state with the tape's description of it. Okay, you can do it too. So this is called instantaneous description. And what else is needed? In your question, we have done with the transition diagram, instantaneous description, transition function. If you want to write the transition function, you can write for all. So transition of Q0 on A. Q0, when the input is A, you are reaching Q1 state, A remain as it is and move to a right side. So wherever you have the transition function diagram, like all the links can be represented as a transition function. And last step is to give the tuple notation. So what are the tuples used to represent a Turing machine? A Turing machine can be represented as set of states, set of possible inputs, transition function, and uh, you have tape symbol, starting state, blank representation, and set of file state, like Q accept and Q reject state. Okay, so all these things you have to represent, you can directly copy it from the diagram here. See, I'll just write it here. Uh, so for the given transition, uh, for the given uh, example, the tuple notation is given as your set of states are Q0, Q1, Q2, Q accept, and Q reject. And the input is made up of A and B. And the transition function is given like this. Okay. And the tape consists of, for in the tape, we'll be having either A written, B written, or the blank symbols. Okay, so we have either A representation or B representation or blank representation. And this is the symbol used for blank representation. Sorry, Q0 is the starting state. And this is the symbol for blank representation. And we have defined Q accept and Q reject state. Okay, so this is the entire tuple notation for the given transition diagram. And finally, we have something. So all those things in the question have been written. And we can construct a Transition table two for these. Okay, since the input is based on each step of transition is based on the state and the element in the tape. So it is a two dimensional thing for a push down automata. When you want to construct a ta uh, table transition table, it would be hard. The reason is like uh, we have that, um, what is it like three dimensional step. How does the transition in a push down automata works from the current state based on the current input symbol? Based on the symbol that is there in the tape, we are making a transition. Sorry, uh, based on the symbol uh, that is there in the stack, we are making a transition. But when it comes to Turing machine, the transition is actually based on the state and the tape element, nothing more. 
right so it is two dimensional we can directly do a transition table for it so one side you can list out all the states that we have used here the states are q0 is the starting state q1 q2 q except final state and q reject so these are all the states of our uh turing machine and the inputs like here like usually we have that input symbol but here in case of turing machine the transition is based on the uh, tape element okay so if the tape element is a or b or it might be blank symbol too so based on that you have a transition so q0 when the input is a it goes to q1 state so it goes to q1 state and this a will remain as it is and move right so you have to include all those things q0 when the input is a it goes to q1 state and a will remain as it is and you are making a right side move and q1 q0 when the input is b we are going to q reject state and this b will remain as it is and make a right side move so you have to fill the entire table like this for q1 q1 when the input is a we will be staying back in q1 state itself and a will remain as it is move right this transition and q1 when the input is b it goes to q2 state and this uh b will remain as it is and move out right okay and we have to have the write the transition for all this and for q except state you don't have any transition it is null for q reject state also you don't have any transition it is going to be null transitions okay so this is as a whole how does a how do we construct a turing machine for the given problem okay similarly you will be having a plenty of problems given for each you have to find a way of finding a, a transition diagram and instantaneous description tuple notations in all okay thank you